welcome back to my channel is Jock and I'm on my beautiful rooftop again and of course by the title you know what this video is about I want to give you five cons of living in Mexico number one number one would have to be the air quality uh, this is actually uh, one of the places that when I came here, I didn't quite understand. I used to suffer for a little bit of asthma when I was a little bit younger, but I always had, outside of the altitude, I had very difficult times breathing here. Like it was always, and I would be like, what's the problem? And when you would go to places like Puerto Vallarta or the places you could feel how clear it was. Uh, and for me, it was something that always made me feel very weird. Uh, because I was like, do I need a mask? Or when I first got here, people were still wearing masks. I was like, what's going on? What, what? And then people would just tell me that it was just the air quality itself. Moving right along, number two. Cons that really grind my gears in Mexico is the fucking traffic. There is so much traffic from the hour of like 5 p.m. and like 7 p.m. That if you have anything to do in the center or in El Centro at that time, there's no way that you're actually going to get there in, on time. You have to leave your house at least an hour in advance. Uh, sometimes, I would say hour 30 minutes in advance uh, for you to be able to make it to your destination on time. Many times I have thought to myself, this is only like uh, normally 15 minutes away. And now it's turned into an hour traffic jam that my brain just pretty good really at uh, number three number three would have to be the noise if you watch my last video uh, you will understand that uh, most uh, Mexican people or the people in Mexico they wake up very early uh, and sometimes they are selling things in the streets sometimes they are playing uh, instruments and for the most part if you're not really an early bird it can be very uh bothersome uh for you to have this all of a sudden this is every day that you hear noise all the time and you're just like why are you awake on a sunday yelling out my eyes out my window telling me that you're you want me to buy something or you want me to pick up something um number four Number four for me would have to be the different dialects. It's not really a con, but I'm gonna add it to the cons list because there's so many different dialects here that when you're speaking Spanish, oftentimes you don't understand what they're saying, but they're asking you the same thing as the Donayeris and maybe something totally different um, here. Or a lot of people uh, maybe from North, uh, like uh, Sinoa, I believe it's uh, San, San, San Luis. San Luis, and they just speak a lot different than um, what you would be like accustomed to, especially for me coming from Spain, speaking Spanish and then coming here. Number five would have to be, for me, would be the altitude. The altitude is something that I was never used to, I was never accustomed to, and because the altitude is so high, you're so high above sea level, Oftentimes you're out of breath, especially for me, my first three to three months here, I was out of breath all the time, especially coming up and down my steps or walking through the city. I would always be heavy, heavily, heavily breathing. And that was something that was very difficult for me to like grasp that concept of. It was just like, what what is actually happening right now? Um, and that's, that was something I just had to really get used to. So my cons list is not really a cons list, but it's some things that I thought, what can I say that I don't love about this country? And those are the things that I have to come up with. So like always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time,